So we've actually decided to cut you from the show. to my channel so for today's video I am going to be spilling a bit of the tea and I'm gonna be doing a juicy Q&A so as you can see I've got my uh, pink cup here it isn't actually full of tea I don't really like tea actually it's full of water and I don't know what it is about tea I just really don't like it so I've got my pink mug I've got my phone and I've asked you guys for some questions on Instagram and Twitter ones that you've really wanted to know the answers to I picked a few out some of them I just can't answer but then I have picked some other ones out that are pretty pretty good questions and I'm gonna be spinning the tea on some situations that you guys have really wanted to know about I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up let me know if you want me to do more Q&A's as I feel like this is the best way for you guys to get to know me and it's kind of the only way other than my daily vlogs well I'm saying daily vlogs they will be soon daily vlogs I'm trying to get back into it for the summer but yeah if you don't already watch my vlogs and you just watch my main channel then this is the only kind of way you get to know me so I thought it'd be a really good video so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started also first question I'm probably gonna get asked is Anastasia do you have freckles uh no I do not I drew them on if you can still see them I just thought they were really really cute and people have been doing it at the moment and I was like I want to jump on that trend the first question is coming from Twitter and it says what age do you think you'll move out now this I got this question a lot about moving out honestly I don't know when I'm gonna move out I don't know if I'm ready to move out yet I'm turning 18 in October and I it's something that I've thought about like do I want to leave home honestly I don't think so yet obviously in the future yes we're in the foreseeable future I don't know I've spoken about moving out before me and Saf have spoken about moving out as well it's just I think it's just a difficult situation whether we're actually gonna do it when we want to do it I may be thinking maybe next year maybe towards the end of the year maybe the following year but at the moment no I don't think I'll be moving out I'm still only 17 and I'm kind of just loving life living at home I don't really want to leave my mum and I don't want to leave my little brother like not for a long time so no honestly I don't think I'll move out yet the next question is first boyfriend now I can't remember if I've told you guys his name I'm not really too bothered about hiding his name I don't know if he would really care my first boyfriend was called Jack he was also my first kiss and we went out in like year three four time and then I had a boyfriend called Michael we went out for like a year in year five I think we broke up before year six the next question I was like this is really interesting that they've put this they said do you feel proud of yourself for being famous now I read this question and I was like one I know I'm not famous people know who I am and I make YouTube videos and like yeah people do stop me in the street and ask for a photo but I'm not famous I would never call myself famous and the question was do you feel proud and I think I, I feel proud of the fact that I've gained people's trust to trust me and I've gained people's love and people want to see what I'm doing and people have an interest in my life I'm proud of that because I think that's such a cool thing that people want to know what I'm doing and they want to know what I'm wearing and I think that's really cool that I've managed to gain people's trust famous I'm not famous I don't know that's a really weird question like it's a good question but I was just sat there really thinking about it I was like when I was younger I never thought I was going to do this I honestly like YouTube like it was around but it wasn't a job or a career path when I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my life so honestly I have no idea yeah but I guess I'm proud of the fact that I've managed to build up an audience of people who hopefully like me and uh, enjoy watching my videos I'm really proud of that the next question I've been asked so many times on Instagram on Twitter wherever I guys ask you and it's what's the situation with Jordan I did actually clear this up last time me and Jordan aren't dating we've never dated he asked me out on a date in a video when he was like doing prank calls and stuff and because we've spoken like we spoke before that video for like three or four months just like backwards like forward and backwards messaging and we got along really well that's why I said yes like we weren't like talking or I don't think we were but like that's why I said yes but no now we still do talk occasionally and we still do have like conversations and stuff but no there's nothing going on with Jordan it's really weird because people keep asking me that and that's probably like, the most common question I've been asked and everybody still ships Janasasia so yeah I'm not really sure why but no there's nothing going on the next question is this is a question that a lot of YouTubers try to avoid I'm not going to avoid it but I'm going to try and explain it and it's how much do you get paid are you happy with your pay PS I love your videos thank you and yes I'm very happy with my pay because I know I'm extremely fortunate to be in the position that I am how much that's something I would never share that's just because because I feel like it's personal for me every youtuber earns a different amount of money a good video I feel like was Casper Lee when he was talking about like Zoe's 
Advent calendar and money and he admitted that by the time he was 21 he'd got a million pounds and I feel like that's quite a good indication of um, how much YouTubers can earn. I would never say how much I do earn just because that is my private information and you wouldn't find a lot of YouTubers telling people how much they earn. Like I really thought that was really cool that Casper said that he earned a million by the time he was 21. Like it's obvious that big big YouTubers have earned a lot of money. Like obviously you can see that like the, the house that Zoe and Alfie live in and like the things that people have done and like obviously you can see people earn a lot of money but I would never say the distinctive amount to everybody. Maybe I will someday Day, but not right now while I'm only 17 and I'm just trying to like get my career going and figure out what I want to do. The next question is have you ever had a thing with a YouTuber? Kind of. There's been like a few different YouTubers that I've had little things with. I don't really know like I don't really want to go into detail. Obviously one was pretty much broadcasted like everywhere because I was in some of his videos. It like started off loads of rumours and stuff. That came to a swift end. Um, I've spoken to a few people, yeah. One day it'll be so funny if everybody just sat down and admitted who they've got with and like all the situations that happened. I feel like you guys would absolutely love it and to be fair I would love to see a video like that. The next question is when you were younger did you ever expect to be this successful and what were your initial career aspirations when you were little? So when I was little, like I'm gonna say little when I was starting YouTube, I definitely did not expect to to be where I am today. I feel like I struck so lucky. I put so much hard work in, but I really did strike lucky in the fact that you guys still want to watch my videos and are continuing to grow with me. When I was little, I always wanted to be a MI5 agent and I still would, like that's my dream job. I wanna work in the government. I would have loved to have become a secret agent. Like everybody laughs at me, but I'm like, no babe, I actually wanted to do that. I still would love to do that. But yeah, like I'm really, really proud of where I got because I did not expect it at all. I had no idea that it would end up me being able to do this at 17 and live the experiences that I'm doing, I just find it insane. This kind of like goes off the other question. Are there any downsides to being a YouTuber and do you ever get awkward or meeting fans unexpectedly like in a shop for example? The only time I said was when you're eating food. This happened quite a lot and when I'm with like my family and stuff I want to be able to like sit down at the dinner table and have like a family conversation. Um, So I don't mind it but it's just when I'm eating I feel like that can sometimes be a bit awkward. I've, I've heard a lot of other people say that as well. The top question on Instagram was can you explain your family situation and where is your dad and the story behind it? So I think I have explained this before in a vlog but never in a main channel video. So basically I never knew my real dad like my blood dad growing up. Um, him and my mum split up when I was in my mum's stomach and I haven't ever seen him since. And then my mum met my stepdad who I call dad. Um, they met like when my mum was pregnant. They were next door neighbours. They got together a few years later. They got married and he was like he's basically like my dad I call him dad they split up I think in 2000 Eight, 2009 it might have been 2010 I honestly can't remember and then after that I still see him I still see him now um, I call him dad we message every day so basically that's my family situation and now I live in a house with my mum and my little brother my little brother has a different dad and um, my mum had a boyfriend at the time and they had Atticus um, but they're no longer together what happened to your prom documentary like this is where I'm spilling the tea okay so I get so many questions about this and I've never had an opportunity to explain what on earth actually happened. If we take it way back. So when I made a video at the end of 2017, it was called my 2017 Rewind, I was telling you guys that around prom season I filmed this documentary. Um, it was meant to be, it was really, really good. I loved it. Um, and I'm not going to say the name of the channel it was meant to be on, um, but it was meant to be on a very big mainstream channel that I'm pretty sure you watch a lot of your favourite shows on. I got an email through to my business email, I want to say in March, April last year. So it was over over a year ago and it was from the casting director of this show saying that they'd found my channel, they really liked my personality and they wanted me to be a part of this TV show. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like it was such a cool idea. It was all about prom and I was like, this is gonna be amazing. So I had a Skype meeting with the producer, the casting uh, director. I had a lot of people on a Skype meeting and I got casted the next day. They really liked me. They loved my mum, they loved my little brother, they loved my friends, uh, so we got casted. I was the main person that they were following but also all of my school friends and I had a massive friendship group at the time. My friendship group wasn't what it is now so we've kind of like all gone off, we haven't gone off our separate ways but like few of us don't really talk anymore. So when I got casted obviously I had to tell my friends and they were so good to me like they were so happy for me they were like of course we'll do this for you like they did they literally put their prom at risk for this tv show for me 
for my career and that meant the absolute world to me. Then as it was a massive deal, they had to come into my school because they were gonna be filming at my school. They spoke to the head teachers, head assistants, basically just spoke to everybody high up at the school. Um, said like, would we be able to film Anastasia? We did like, it was so, like it was so cool filming it. Like when we were filming it, we had to pretend that we were um, coming out of our exams and we were like doing a little bit of acting and stuff even though it was a documentary. Um, it was so much fun and we had like a lot of fun doing it. But the thing is, we revolved my prom and our prom around filming this tv show so when we went to book our transport all my friends were in the middle of gcse's all my friends were around my house on my bed um and we had we were all being filmed by a massive tv crew picking up prom transport and they filmed arguments and they filmed drama and it would have been really good and then on actual prom day it was so hectic like we went round their filming schedule like everything i did was based around them i got ready at tanisha's house my mum and tanisha's mum uh, worked closely with all the producers and honestly like they just kind of controlled the whole of our prom which if it was aired and we had something to look back on fair enough but the fact that I have nothing to show for it really annoys me. I also forgot to mention that when they went to my school they also asked if there was any other people they think should be in the documentary and my friend Joel got scouted and he has a part in it and his part actually got casted so if you can find it you can go and watch it and I'm actually in his part and at the time like I was friends with like Doyle, Dev and Ben but like we weren't like best friends but now we're like in a friendship group so they weren't in my part they were in Joel's part so you'll see them in Joel's part and then basically so prom happened um I was pulled out of prom for like 40 minutes to answer questions and I missed like a good hour of my prom and I didn't get any group photos with my friends because I was filming and that breaks my heart because of my friends pictures and all their memories some of them I'm not there for even though I was there um so that's really really upsetting and then we finished they filmed the after party that wasn't on my part of the tv show that was on Joel's part so again that did get aired if you want to go find that and then after that day they came round once to finish like my part of the show um and they just asked us like some final questions they filmed me my mum and Atticus all in the park and stuff it was really good and then my person that I, my contact at the place I was talking to said okay you'll hear from us nearer the time when we're going to start to promote the show so you can tell everybody about it I was told that it was going to air in January so it was getting to late December and I thought this is really strange I haven't heard anything none of my friends had heard anything and then I thought okay I'm just gonna drop her a text and I said hey like do you know when the show is airing she had no idea um she was like yeah it should be airing soon like I don't actually work there anymore but I will let you know I'll put like a message forward to the producer so he'll give you a call if you guys follow my vlogs in January I was extremely ill after after New Year's I don't know if it was New Year's that did it to me but after New Year's for like two weeks I was solidly ill like I'd never been that ill before I got a call and I just answered it I was really ill and he was like hello and I was like hi who's this goes on an unknown and he was like it's the producer of da -da -da -da. and I was like oh hi and he was like so we've actually decided to cut you from the show and I sat there and I was like what because I'd been seeing adverts and all my friends have been seeing adverts and loads of you guys have been seeing adverts tweeting me saying why aren't you in it like why is everybody else in it and you aren't um because some of my YouTube friends were also in this show and I was like that's a really good point, why aren't I in them? And I got so upset when he said to me that I'd been cut from the show because I was like, what? Like we did so much filming, we did hours of filming, my friends gave up so much, and my family gave up so much. I gave up my whole prom um, and I didn't film any of it because I thought they were filming it. And I was like, okay then. So I got my mum to ask why, and in a roundabout way, it was basically because we didn't have enough drama and they just didn't think I was the right fit when honey, they casted me. I was like, are you actually being serious? I was like, I wasn't bothered about the show not airing necessarily because it was just a bit of fun, but I was bothered because I hadn't filmed any of my prom. I had no physical memory of it because they filmed it. And I just presume that I'd have that to look back on. So I have nothing to look back on. So that's what happened with that show. The show obviously did go live. It was in a two part series. Um, and then one of my YouTube friends is in it, obviously Joel's in it. So if you do want to go see it, I'm sure some people in the comments will figure out which show it was. Um, but yeah, really, really annoying. And that's basically what happened with that. There's me spilling the tea on that situation. And the last question I'm gonna answer is, are you upset that you're 17 and you've never had a proper relationship? If you could go back and change something, what would it be? I thought this was really interesting because yes, I'm 17 and I. I've never been in a proper proper relationship obviously I'm coming up to 18 and sometimes I do sit here and I'm like should I be upset about it because 
yeah I've like spoken to people but it's never gone any further than okay like are we actually boyfriend and girlfriend and a lot of my friends like have either been in a serious relationship or they are in a relationship and it does make you think twice it's like you try, you try not to doubt yourself and you try not to think is there something wrong with me but then I'm just like no like there's nothing wrong with me like I just haven't found the right person and obviously I'm only 17 uh, I like to think I'm quite mature for my age but I am only 17 and I'm very aware that I have the rest of my life ahead of me and at the moment I'd rather focus on a career and getting myself where I want to be but I'd be lying if I said the thought hadn't been there like having someone to share everything with because at the moment I share everything with you guys and my friends my best friends but I've also thought like there's something missing and I feel like yeah like I do think there's something missing but I just guess the right person hasn't come along for me to think okay like I want you to be my boyfriend stuff like that do you know what I mean like so yeah like it can get a bit like what's wrong with me why hasn't this happened but then I understand I'm only 17 and I'd rather kind of live my life and get a really good career ahead of me um and then find and settle down with somebody later on in life so that is the end of my juicy Q&A sesh I really hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did please smash a huge thumbs up as I said there's questions that I just can't answer right now just because drama and everything like that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up leave a comment down below with any more questions that you want me to answer and I'll just answer them in the comments obviously because this video was like 20 minutes long as I'm filming this so I don't want to bore you guys too much but thank you so much for watching I really hope you have enjoyed and I will see you on Sunday at 10am for a brand new video bye